Hello everybody, this is your host Nino and tonight I would like to talk about a piece of software that I have grown rather fond of and of which I do hope that it will not just vanish from the face of the earth. And indeed the topic is these two programs, BASIC with an exclamation mark or the telescope icon, as well as the BASIC compiler, which looks like an atom. Just to demonstrate to you what is possible with these programs, I have written here a short BASIC program that will repeatedly compute the inverse of a number, of a number's absolute value, uh, and print it on the screen. And this is not written in the most, most uh, you know, sensible way, but rather in order to demonstrate the flexible facilities which BASIC actually has as a language and which this particular in interpreter offers uh, especially. For instance, here this first if condition could be, of course, simplified just simply telling that n should be bigger than zero, but I just wanted to show you the end condition. Um, and this is running just the way you would suppose that it does. I just simply say save and run, and then it is asking me for a number to invert and showing me the result and asking me for another one until eventually I get, grow tired of it and I say zero, and that's it. It is quickly written, equally quickly executed, and it does satisfy one's curiosity to a degree and may actually rather well serve one's needs in case one needs to do some more complex computation, but where one does not want to fight with a calculator on every step, nor where one would be wanting to battle uh, spreadsheets. And you know, until not too long ago, that used to be a very common facility on personal computers to have your own running programming language. In the 90s, this was the well-known QBasic or QB or Quick Basic or whichever variant you happen to get uh, to get your fingers on, which was by default installed in Windows. And while being generally limited to the capabilities of MS-DOS, it was still a very viable environment and was allowing creative expression um, in, in a perspective of a, of a programmer and not just of a user of the computer. This is something we have grown to sorely miss and there is a subdivision between those who can program and those who cannot and I believe that BASIC was serving one purpose nicely to show that programming is not some sort of remote magic, but something which merely depends on one's wish, logic and creativity and was allowing, without too much knowledge of the depths and intricacies of the machine, to, well, write entertaining or useful programs or at least to pass the time in an interesting way. And that, and that art has somewhat come out of use, unfortunately, but interpreters like the one I just demonstrated to you have allowed to regain some of that. Now, of course, there are other very interesting language interpreters on Android, and if you are using the Linux environment, basically um, unlimited possibilities are open to you. Let's be frank, you can install whatever you want. But this one was special in that it had its little compiler. And that compiler was permitting you to simply select your source, like here, my invert.buzz, and create very quickly an APK file that is, so to say, an Android program, one that you could indeed distribute. 
I could of course have, you know, set here some certain preferences. <coughs> I could have updated the icon. I could have changed the colors of the console not to be black and white. But by and large, the process was still remaining very uniform and it was very quickly allowing me to create programs. These two pieces of software were mainly the work of Paul Lawton and Nicolas Mougin or Mugino. And I always very much enjoyed them and it was always one of the first things I installed on Android. But as I was looking for them today in order to recommend them to a friend, I discovered that I could no longer find them on the App Store. And I believe this is due to the fact that Google has um, tightened the restrictions once again around the usage of Android and the publishing of programs, something I am not very fond of. And I therefore do fear about the availability of these marvelous pieces of software. And I certainly do suggest that if Google is uh, making too many issues, to simply publish them elsewhere, like on FDroid or something. Yeah, so now my app has been compiled and I can click on install this APK now. If I hadn't already given the permission for that, it would now be asking for permission, but I have. So it is just going to be installing it. And that is indeed what it will do. It just installed it like any other Android app. It is asking me for permission and I can now write some number and get its inversion. And whatever now, 9973 and so on. So you see, this is working just perfectly and it is working just as it used to work on the interpreter. And I'll now give zero in order to terminate it. And as we are getting out of it, you shall now see something interesting here on my screen. On the lower right corner of my installed apps is the invert app, right? Which just works as I have demonstrated to you and which can indeed be simply installed like any other Android app. You see it's a little bit fat because it needs to package essentially its interpreting resources, but I can install it, uh, install it and uninstall it at will. And if one were so inclined, one can indeed write a rather complex pieces of software with it such as my chatbot, Katoptron, which in ancient Greek means mirror and is an allegation to the manner it functions. This is published in the Android App Store. You can see it on the top here. I found it basically. And I can demonstrate to you that indeed also bigger endeavors are entirely executable with the help of this marvelous basic setup. So if I were to say what warped thoughts do you today harbor machine? Being fancy in a weird way is actually a very rational approach to a weird life. <laughs> and I can continue. Life is strange indeed, but therein lies its very beauty. What kind of sensible answers do you even hope to hear from me, given the chaos of our existence? Raging chaos and the futility and the futility of 
plans shall not shake one's character. You admit the world is a challenge to you, but if you take care of your family and perform your duties, all will be fine. Other than this, you need to focus on certain aims and pursue them. Dreaming alone, decorated with excuses, is never sufficient. So, as you can see, <laughs> I'll give an empty input in order to terminate the conversation. So, as you can see, if you are so inclined, then that basic interpreter is to be taken perfectly seriously. So, with this brief video, I would like to express my sincere admiration for these marvelous pieces of software and I do hope that they will last us a long time and facilitate many other hobbyist endeavors. I hope that by the time you watch this video some solution uh, has been found and I certainly do urge you to try out a good basic as in the old days. Thank you very much for listening in. I hope to greet you here soon again. I wish you a great evening and goodbye.